Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to do another cooking slash baking video for you. We are going to make a bean casserole hot dish thing. So, I will get started by showing you what you shall need. Okay, everyone. So, here is kind of what you shall need. You shall need some molasses. You're going to need distilled white vinegar, salt and pepper, mustard, an array of beans, including or not including, based on your preferences, dark red kidney beans, butter beans, black beans, baked beans. I choose vegetarian because I am making a vegetarian version of this meal. I don't necessarily love meat like some. However, I shall show you the recipe where you can and definitely include meat. Anyway, moving on, you're going to need navy beans, black-eyed be peas, beans, and great northern beans. You're going to need some onion if you want. I'm adding onion just kind of as an extra. This is brown sugar and a big bowl to mix it in. The one great thing about this particular casserole is that it's great for this time of year. It's great for potlucks. It's awesome in a crock pot and it stores really well in the freezer so that's why we are making it for me so i can take it out of the freezer and eat it whenever i would like so we are using well we started using this recipe originally um so you can freeze the video and write that down if you would like this includes bacon and hamburger um along with ketchup and stuff but we just kind of like to just go off the seat of our pants and my mom's really good at you know, adding, ad-libbing and stuff. So, yeah, so we shall get started. Okay, so to get started, we always drain and rinse the beans, all but one kind, all but the baked beans, because that kind of gives you your base of the ooey-gooey deliciousness. Okay, so we're just rinsing off all the beans, except for the baked beans. That's a lot of beans. And sometimes you, depends on if you like kidney beans, you use what you like in your preference. Right. Once they're all mixed together, it's hard to tell what they are, but this is a really good sampling of beans. sure they're drained really good and I normally make this directly into a crock pot because you, you're usually going to use it but today we're using it as a in a bowl because we're going to mix it make it and then container it so that we can freeze it so it'll be easy meals for a college student mm-hmm how much does this okay so we have put the beans in the bowl first step putting in some mustard And the baked beans are going in now to be mixed in. And again, I used vegetarian baked beans because, I don't know, I just, I prefer no meat, I guess. So that was my choice. But baked beans, especially Bush's baked beans, have a ton of different flavors and different meats and everything you can have. So. And again, you might have a family preference of a brand. Right. None of it matters, just so you have... Beans. Beans. <laughs> and don't throw them across the floor. Okay, so you want to kind of just... Don't over stir it because you're going to break up the beans. We're going to do about a three-quarter cup of brown sugar. Again, if you like them a little sweeter, put more in. And I love brown sugar. We're adding some ketchup. throw in a dash of molasses and again this do, the necessary. recipe does have this measured out we are just kind of ad-libbing winging. winging it as they say and 
how big of cuts are you cutting? Like? Well, you know, in my family, they're not so fond of big chunks, so I always dice it a little more. And, you know, if you're sharing it, some people don't like onions, so the more invisible it is, the better. But if you like big chunks of onion, go there you go. It. Chunks of onion. <laughs> is um, very strong. So one of the things you want to make sure you do is you go with the original amount requested. Now this is, I think, two teaspoons teaspoons but if you want more zing that's what it kind of gives it is that little zing add more but then give it a good stir everything is in here now and so you want to give it a good stir make incorporating all the ingredients and again meat really bulks this up more so you'd have bacon and hamburger that's cooked off and a lot of times that's where a lot of some of your seasoning comes from. You season your meat and your salt. I haven't added salt and pepper to this yet, so we're going to have um, the person that will be eating this taste this and see if she needs salt and pepper. <laughs> okay, guys, going in. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is amazing. Need anything? Nope. <laughs> okay, she's drooling, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it. We have our beans, and we're going to put them in some Tupperware here for me so I can freeze them and then eat them at my will. Granted, it is not warm. Like, it's obviously room temperature, so when it is hot, it will taste even better. So I'm really excited about this. And like the recipe says, you can add bacon and hamburger. Um, we may be adding ham because we're going to have ham for lunch, so you never know. I will refer you to the recipe one more time just in case you want to pause it and write it down. And uh, you can use a casserole dish like it says in the oven, or it does work really well in a crock pot, which is what we've always done. That's how I've always eaten it, right out of crock pot, so that's always good. So yeah, any other tips, Mother? No, just enjoy. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed our cooking video. Bye.